Hello, and welcome to Barb Talks. Today, we're talking about free ways to find your bliss. I was talking to my older sister and was telling her that I was looking for things to do that were fun for me, but I wasn't really sure where to get started. And she suggested I go to the library and talk to the reference librarian. Now, full disclosure, my older sister Susie was a reference librarian, so she knows what she's talking about. And she was saying that every library, or at least most libraries, have a reference librarian. And you go and ask them questions. Some libraries have more than one. So if you go to one librarian and you talk with him or her and they don't have the answers you're looking for, then if you can, just talk to another one. Get a variety of reference librarians. Well, what I did was, I've been wanting to get back into doing some sort of choral music because I did choral music back in grade school and junior high and high school and college. And I just was kind of missing that camaraderie of being part of a team and doing some singing. But I wanted it to be more organized and I wanted it to be in my own neighborhood. So I didn't have to drive across town or to another city to be able to find a chorus group to be a part of. And so I went to the library, local library, talked to the reference librarian, and the reference librarian looked up online and found an organization that's actually in my neighborhood called blueprintarts.org. And it's a nonprofit that helps match up local musicians that are choral and also local musicians who play instruments. And I think before COVID, they also had a theater element to it, but I think they're still trying to rebuild up the theater element again. But what they do is they test you to see what levels your singing level is, and then they help match you to a singing group that is of your ability level and your interest level. And what I wanted was I wanted to be in a group that I could make some new friends. So I was looking for a more social type group. And so, and there's about, I don't know, 25 different groups through blueprintarts.org. And I was matched up with a group and it came with a binder that has the choral music in it. These are my markings so that I can find the songs in the binder when I'm at practice. It's fulfilling for me to again feel that body feeling of being around harmony. And that was one of the things I always liked most about singing in choir was I'm a second soprano and I love hearing the first soprano melody and then the alto lower harmony and then The second soprano gets to a lot of times do the dissonant chords and then the resolutions and and it's just, it it, it makes my body vibrate in a a very happy way to be involved with in-person choral music again. Each of these groups, they do their practice once a week and there's a professional that leads it and does all the counting out and making sure that everybody's on pitch and making sure that everybody knows their parts. I love having the book that I can practice at home and they have online files. So if you're someone who doesn't read music, you can go listen to the YouTube files and learn the music that way. So it's just an opportunity to get together in person again, do something creative that doesn't make a mess. I'm kind of like in this place in my life right now that, I mean, I don't mind cooking messes because I can eat those. But when it comes to art, it's just really hard for me to put together something and then wonder what I'm gonna do with it. Music is an art that's in the now. It's just a very fulfilling thing right now for me in this stage of my life. I would highly recommend if you have been wanting to seek a certain type of activity and maybe you've been online and looked around and and haven't really found what you were looking for, try talking to a reference librarian and see what information they can find for you. Thanks for being part of this journey with me. And thanks for watching Barb Talks.